And welcome to our channel. My name is Sven. This is my son Even. Hello. And over there is Woody. And today we want to show you how we build this pond, especially the pond filter, how we pin the filter, and how we get this thing to work. And for all of you who don't know this channel, this channel is all about building a huge uh, monitor lizard enclosure step by step from the start or from from beginning uh, to the end there will be a lot of more a lot more videos and if you like this kind of content give us a thumbs up subscribe so you won't miss a video so and now I think let's have a look how we did this with this nice pond let's go Good, so this is our new canister filter for the pond. It's a type OASE or OASE uh, Biomaster Thermo 250. Thermo because it has a thermo element with 150 watts. And um, those trays for the filter parts. Uh, original from Oasis, there are those sponges in it and I don't want to use this stuff because I saw on YouTube a channel it's called Pimp My Filter it's in there's a English channel and a German uh, uh, channel and they show a few steps how you can uh, increase uh, the power of this filter so, um, what did I do? I, first of all, we, like they said, we drilled a few more holes in here so that there will be a better water flow. This is a pre-filter. This is really handy. You, have, you don't have to clean the whole filter. Uh, uh, you can just clean the pre-filter. Um, I think that's a really nice gadget for this film. So and then, like I said, I threw the sponges away and they told, uh, uh, they on their homepage or on their videos, they have a stuff called BioHome. It's, I don't know what material it is. It looks like this. And it has a many times bigger surface than the sponges. And, all the bacteria has more space to, to live on this and clean the water. So I will put this stuff in this trays. And there are another one of this company, this round pieces I will use. And on the first layer, I will also use a sponge for, uh, for the big stuff to, to filter out. And I will use uh, like a poly filter and it's look like this it's just a, a filter mesh and this stuff is a chemical filter and this filters out all these chemicals and the nice thing about this is if you have these chemicals in your water it will change the color to this and you will see what the problem in your in your pond or in your aquarium so and then to start uh, the thing, they told us to use some pure aquarium balls 
These are bacterial boards, boards. They will start up the water to get clean. Yeah, that's it. That's the material we want to use. I think we will put this stuff together and then try to build it in and looks how the pond look like when we are ready. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Okay, I put the bio home stuff in this trays. I have three of them here, and this one is those sponge and the chemical filter. And now I will put this in here. Let's go. Good, the canister filter is prepared, all the mediums are in, the pre-filter is in, the heating system is in, so and these guys who know this build know that this is the part where the canister filter get in, it's under my, my pond and you know, already know there are those quick connectors and I have the quick connectors here. So it's easy for me to change. If you don't know what we did here, click here on our playlist and you will see a video how we built in the pond. Okay, I think I will build it in and then let's get started the filter. Okay, now I'm filling up the canister filter. I have those quick connectors, this long hose. I get the water from my garage. There is the air bubbles coming out, so I have to wait until the water is coming out here. Now I want to show you how easy it is to clean the pre-filter on this Oase Biomaster 250. So I will switch off the switch. This will shut down the canister filter and the heating system. And then I have to um, shut down those switches here. And then I can remove the pre-filter and we will have a look. Uh, we will have a look if it's dirty right now. Okay, here you can see the pre-filter unit. It's a nice feature of this canister filter or as a Biomaster. You have this pre-filter, this, this filter sponges. They are not really dirty right now because there is nothing in the pond. So here you can see these are the holes I uh, drilled in. There, there were a lot uh, less uh, holes in here so I drilled a few more like they say on this Pimp My Filter 
uh, channel on YouTube. So, okay, now you only have to squeeze it out, put it again over here, and then it's ready to reinstall. And uh, the whole filter, if you want to clean this one, is I will disconnect the hoses. You already see, like I installed this, and then I will clean the filter. But with this pre-filter unit, it's really easy and you can clean it really fast. Okay, let's put it back together. Yes, good. That's it for today. That was a built-in of the canister filter for our pond here. Um, yes, we will. We will decorate a little bit more. We will put plants in there, and maybe we will put some snails and maybe some fish in here. Uh, but this will be a future step. But I think for today, it's enough. Uh, one of our next videos will be, uh, I will complete the ventilation system. I need some parts and then I will show you how the complete uh, ventilation system will work because it's of this high humidity. You sometimes have this problem with those windows and they get foggy and I will show you how we did this. But this will be the next step. If you don't want or if you don't want to miss this step and a lot more steps just click the subscribe button give us a thumbs up if you like it huh. look at this Come. and i think that's it for today we will see us in the next video bye bye stay safe and best wishes from germany <laughs> and best wishes from evans mouse <laughs> bye bye